Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our meeting tonight. Glad to see all of you. I can see there are some people who are on video. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. I want to be the first person to welcome you to this meeting tonight. And I believe that we are going to have a great meeting together, especially for the guests who are joining us for the very first time. And uh, you are invited. Please, you're so much welcome to this great uh, session for women. This, we call it WOW, Women of What. And um, yes, I'm going to be your presenter tonight. And after this, we are going to have a great guest speaker calling in all the way from out of the country. And uh, that is for those who are in Kenya. So I want to welcome you to this great meeting. And I believe the person who invited you had something good for you. That is what you'll discover at the end of this session. So my name is Pieros Cherotich. That is my name. I am a teacher by profession. I've been with this opportunity now for 12 years. I was able to retire early with my profession, but I'm excited because I've been mentoring people for the last 12 years. And that has really been my joy. And my passion is uh, to help women to get empowered. And so tonight we are here as women of worth because we are very worthy. We are the people uh, who actually um, do so much for our families, and that is why we are here. Uh, I'm also a, a mother of four young children. I'm excited about that, and I'm married. So tonight we are going to be speaking to women. As I said, I was a teacher, and I was a teacher of physics and mathematics. That was uh, then. I was employed by the Teacher Service Commission of Kenya to teach in high school here in Kenya. But I thank God because within a, a very short time, I was able to retire. And because I desired to have time freedom for my family so that I can be able to be with my kids. And today it has become a dream come true for me because that, all that has been able to happen because of this wonderful opportunity. So I'm going to give you the, the big picture of the same uh, and I'll be sharing my slides so that you can be able to get uh, all that I'm going to be sharing with you tonight. And so as women, we have come together so that we can be able to learn so many things that are going to help us to understand um, why you are invited here. So um, the first slide that I have over here is talking about a woman. As I was doing my research, I discovered that most of the corporations that I run by women are doing very, very well. And so who is this woman? That is the big question we need to be asking ourselves. So the abbreviation, I mean, uh, the acronym for women, we have woman is wonderful, outstanding, you know, marvelous, adorable, and nice. And that is who we are as women. And I know as women, we can do so much with the society, in the society. And so we say that when you empower a woman, they're also going to empower other women. So an empowered woman will always empower other women. And, um, uh, 12 years ago, when I got to know about this as a teacher, I had uh, quite some health challenges I'll be sharing with you. And we say on this call tonight, your health is your greatest wealth. We as women, you know, when our families are not feeling well, when your spouse is not feeling well, when your children are not feeling well, when your parents are not feeling well, a woman will always be so concerned. So we say that your health is your greatest wealth. And health is affected by three things. Number one is rest, you know? Number two is exercise, and number three is diet. Those are the things that affect um, uh, health for all our, us and our families. So those are the three things, but the major one is diet. And we say with our diet, every bite you take is either fighting or feeding diseases. So whenever we are eating, or because we are the people who serve food to our families, so what do you eat? Are you eating to fight disease or you are eating to feed disease? You know, most of the foods that we eat on a daily basis are feeding diseases. Now, the World Health Organization uh, has given us what we call a wellness triangle or a wellness pyramid that is helping us 
to understand exactly what we are supposed to eat and how we are supposed to eat because sometimes we just eat because we, we, we found what to eat. But we are supposed to eat for uh, to fight diseases. So how are we supposed to eat? And before even eating, we say that we need to do a lot of physical activity and weight management. That is very, very important. Physical activity and weight management is very important. Then we need to take whole grains in large quantities actually and not refined because most of the time we are eating refined grains. Fruits and vegetables is another one. Five to nine different colored fruits on a daily basis. How possible is that? Can we be able to provide such to our families? We reduce on the proteins, 20 grams of proteins per day. You know, we eat less. Then the least of all is fats and sugars. For sugars, we need only two teaspoons of sugar in a day and very little fats. But what happens is that most people do the opposite, upside down. I know most of us can identify with this. Fats and sugars, we have a lot of them, proteins, a lot of them less fruits and vegetables and less whole grains and minimal physical activity, meaning that so many of the women are overweight. So look at that lady in the middle there. We say that she's not eating healthy. And most of us are practicing this. We take our families out and we are eating that. Now this has costed our lives a lot because it has come about they, uh, that we have a lot of uh, lifestyle diseases in the name of heart disease, cancer, diabetes, stroke, chronic respiratory diseases, and even obesity, and many more arthritis, you know, kidney disease, many, many diseases. These are lifestyle diseases because of our lifestyle. And we are saying it's time to reverse the trends. And what is happening is that these lifestyle or chronic diseases are highly on the rise. The World Health Organization had projected that by the year 2020, chronic disease will account for almost three out of every four deaths worldwide. And you know, we are already past 2020, so it has already happened that many people, including and especially women, actually heart diseases in women is so high. And what are we saying? Things like obesity is also very high in women than men. So for me, this is what touched me 12 years ago. I had a lot of stress and my stress was um, actually money related because I, I lacked money. As a teacher, I was employed, but the money was never enough. So I was so stressed to the point of uh, getting overweight and obesity. And this one is a very serious challenge because now it comes about with many other challenges. Now, these women, what are the common conditions that are very common with women? Those conditions that are common with women, painful periods, you know, fibroids, infections are too many. We have uh, around so many people having infections, UTIs and all that, heart diseases, diabetes, yes. It is actually recorded that women are more, uh, there are more women with diabetes than men. Obesity, the same case. Cancer, breast cancer, cervical cancer, uterus cancer, skin cancer, and even infertility. And you know, most of the time when the, a couple are not able to get babies, they say it's a woman, you know? So infertility, and it is actually making so many people lose hope in life. Now, when I learned about this and I was already obese, actually I was weighing 124 kg and I was not excited about it. It affected my self-esteem. But guess what? I was given a solution. And tonight I'm going to share with you this great solution that I was able, someone was able to share with me 12 years ago. And this is um, actually given by a company called Neolive International, which I was able to partner 12 years ago. And New Life International started with a dream of a young man then, Jerry Brasfield. Today is about 84 years old. He was only 19 years old. So uh, he was sick, suffering from asthma since he was a small child. And uh, when he, they got a solution through food, because food is medicine. So what are we saying? He was able to get well through supplementing his diet and eating a good diet. So he started this opportunity of Neolive in 1958, started in the USA, came to Africa through South Africa in 1971. In 1996, it came to Kenya. And today, if you are a guest on this call, it has arrived at yours. So this company is in over 56 countries globally. So it's not only in Kenya. And if you see since 1958, we are talking about 64 years. It is 
It has been there for that long because of its values. One of them is absolute honesty and integrity. And we are excited because 64 years ago when the company was founded, you know, it has been able to carry through all those many years because of absolute honesty and integrity. People are number one. In this opportunity, we say people are number one. You are number one, okay? So we value you so much. We also have wonderful products that work, very, very good, I'll be sharing with you, and equal opportunity for all. So as a woman on this call, you are invited. You are invited by someone, not because of your grades or anything or where you come from. It is an equal opportunity for all and long range vision. This is very important, long range vision. We are not looking at today. The vision is to end the trend of chronic diseases, okay? So the main thing why the products work is the scientific advisory board. We have a body of scientists. These are the people who research and develop the products. And they, these are the scientific advisory board to ensure that all the products are natural and scientifically researched. So they are doing a great job in terms of science. So these are top scientists in the world. They, are, they have written international journals that are well respected around the world. And so they are great. So all the products they are manufacturing are natural. So which are these products? We go back to our triangle. You remember we said, this is how we need to eat, do a lot of physical activity. But of course we don't have a solution for physical activity. But weight management we have, and I'll be sharing with you later. But whole grains, whole grains we have a great product because people are eating refined grains a lot. And therefore we are lacking, we are not feeding ourselves. So we have a great product called Tree and N. It is three in one. It's a whole grain supplement of wheat, rice, and soya, only containing the lipids and sterols of the same. Then for fruits and vegetables, we have a product called carotenoid complex. It's a complex of fruits and vegetables, which is able to boost your immunity. Actually, when you take it for 30, uh, 20 days, it boosts your immunity by 37%. And you know, this era of COVID, we are saying immunity is really key. Then we have Omega-3 Salmon Oil Plus, which is a, a, a fish oil, very, very good for brain development, very good for the heart, and also very good for the joints. So this is Omega-3 Salmon Oil Plus. And when you see here in this sachet, we have the four of them. We have tree and N, we have Omega-3, we have carotenoid, and we have a multi-mineral essential vitamin and mineral complex over here. So the four will work on your cell. It will feed your cell, it will protect your cell, it will nourish your cell, and it will also balance your cells. So when you do that, your cells will be healthy, meaning you will be healthy. And this is just food, remember. So inside this box, this sachet is called Provitality. Inside this box, you will, have, you will get 30 sachets of Provitality like this. In liquid form, we have it as Liquivite, which is very, very good for young children and the elderly people. Then we have, so that is the new life solution. The Provitality will actually make your triangle to stand on the right side up. And of course, during this COVID period, we have vitamin C and chewable oil C and also zinc. These are the great products to be able to guard yourself against COVID. Many other products, of course, I talked about the provitality. We have feminine herbal, also very good for balancing hormones in women. We have got Calmac, chelated Calmac. You know, this is very good for bones. You know, for women, we always need calcium, about 1500 mg, but a day, which we don't get normally. So our calcium levels end up uh, um, going down, down, down. So we need to supplement with chelated Calmac. It's a very good product. And we also have from um, uh, losing weight, which is the Neolife Shake. Actually, this is a very good product for losing fat and keeping your muscle. And you feel full and satiated or satisfied. So this is New Life Shake. This is actually the product that was able to get me back into shape from 124 kilos. And that is me some time back. You can see from the left-hand side, my photo. And on the right-hand side, you can see the current photo. Actually, this, these two, this is are 10 years apart. And for sure, you can see on the left is 10 years ago. And then 10 years later is on the right. And of course, one would say you should switch both of them. This one on the right to be 10 years before and this other one to be 10 years. But with this, with this product, so the new life shape, to be precise, you get back your shape and you will get to look nice. You look younger for longer. 
We also have many others. I already talked about the feminine herbal. We also have cleaning products. Yeah, we are the people in charge of cleaning at home. Most of the time we are there touching detergents, you know. We want to use safe ones. And, and um, you know, we have wonderful, wonderful organic, um, uh, 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 economic and powerful uh, home care products that are able to take care of your home. They are detergents and they are actually chemical free. Then on, on this other side, we have the skincare products, which are organic. Fully organic, they are actually very great. They are skincare products, they make you look younger for longer. I'm sure all of us, we want to look younger, you want your, your skin to glow. So those are the natural skincare products. Then we have children's nutrition. Our kids are also growing, developing. They need to develop very well and we have great products for them. Then we also have the farm care product that is very good for the farm for using to uh, as foliar fertilizer in your farm for any crop. By the way, this is very nice, especially during this season, people have been using the farm care product, which is the, it's called super grow. So when it came to Kenya, it was actually um, taken to the lab at the University of Nairobi, and they confirmed that using SuperGrow, you can increase your yield three times. So those are the products. And with these products, you will look better, uh, you will feel better, you will look better, and you will live better. And that is what we want, ladies. We want our homes to be free, you know? We want to give our families the best, and we also want them to have good health. And these are the, this is the best solution. The new life products are really wonderful. But again, we also want money in our pockets. I know maybe most of us on this call, we could be having people who are working. We could be having people who are not working. You know, all the same, everyone wants something, some extra income to make. So I'm going to show you how you use these products to earn something on, um, on part-time basis. So you could need money, you want to drive a good car, uh, you want to travel the world, you want to get a better home. This is all possible courtesy of this wonderful opportunity. And what do you do? You just need to uh, partner with Neolife. So where are you in the cash flow quadrant? Ladies, we have people on the left-hand side and the right-hand side. If you are employed, you are on the left-hand side. You're on the first quadrant. We have self-employed. We have big business builders and investors. We know that the people which are, who are big business builders and investors, that is on the right hand side. These are the wealthy people. On the left hand side, we have the average and the poor. And you find that that's where now you find you are employed, you are earning money, but it is not enough all the time. But big business people don't feel such impact even during this time of economic crisis, you know. So we are saying uh, through this opportunity, you can move from the left hand side to the right hand side. In this business, you are you are in for yourself, but not by yourself. Why? By partnering with Neolife, what happens is this. You are not becoming employed by Neolife. You only partner. And the good thing is that you can do it part-time. So you, the company does everything for you, you know, unlike the traditional business. So the product supply is done. The financing is done. You know, you don't have to calculate your bonuses. You have a, the website is given to you. You know, you have a, a replicated website that you're going to be given. All the logistics, distribution, everything, ordering is done by the company. Unlike the traditional business where you have to sell for what you are coming to, to sell or to trade with. So what do you, where do you start? You start by partnering with New Life directly. New Life is a manufacturing company. So all the middlemen has been, have been scrubbed off. Or oh, that money that would have gone to the advertiser, to the wholesaler, to the distributor, you know, all those people comes back to you as value for your money. And I love this from the word go, because you can imagine you are getting directly connected to the manufacturer, meaning you are getting the products directly. And one of the benefits you get are discounted prices. So you have to partner with your company by paying Kenya shillings, 9,200, about $100, um, yes hundred dollars and you are in business. Can you imagine starting with such a capital and you don't just go home empty handed. You get a kit and this kit contains an international license. It has got literature materials. It has the Pro Vitality Pack. You can imagine the four products are already explained for a whole month, not just for a day, but for a whole month. And you get back value for your money through the points that have been allocated to the product. 
And in this case, we have 36 points for provitality. You also get your own website. So you can do business online, globally, and then free delivery anywhere in the country. Can you imagine for only 9,280? So you get value for your money. Remember you have even paid VAT, you get a license, and this license is international, you know? So once you join or partner with Neolive, you get a direct connection. You are told, do these daily success habits. So simple, use the product. You don't have to go to a, a shop and, uh, or a supermarket to go and buy soap. You buy it from your own company now, from yourself at discounted prices. In that case, you earn points. Number two, we tell you share the product. You earn points and profits because you are discounted. So if you share with other people, sell to someone else, you're going to earn profits. And you're also buying in your name because the New Life company does not sell their products to non-members. So you earn points and profits. The third thing or the number B of sharing is share the opportunity. You remember the advertiser had been scrubbed off. So it is you now to share the opportunity with your network. Show them. And you see the uh, money that would have been paid to advertiser is paid back to you as value for, I mean, as profit share by the company. Then you train and you get the skills and personal development. As simple as that, the training is free. And most of it happens right here on Zoom. So once you do that, remember you got 36 points. So we tell you, get yourself something for your face, for your skin. We all want to look younger for longer. So if you get yourself some products, you get 250 points, you're called a manager, and you earn between 500 to 2,500. Ladies, that is good money. I mean, 500 to 2,500, just because you bought something, I mean, that is great. And you are given the title of a manager. Then you are told, show other people. Just get other friends. Tom, Mary, Joe, Peter. You're also allowed to include some men in your network. Anybody you know, and you are there, you are a manager. If they also become managers, now you become a senior manager. And if you get like 1,000 points, you can see those points are riding to you. So if the points are 1,000, you are called a senior manager, 2,500 all the way to 20,000 Kenya shillings. But these people may also do more and also bring more people. So if they get 2,000 points, you are called an executive manager, 20,000 all the way to 50,000. Remember, Tom, Mary, and Joe are also striving to grow. So they'll be senior managers at some point. So when they become senior managers, you become a director. And you get between 50 to 90,000 Kenya shillings on part-time basis. Remember, you are just using the product, sharing the products, and sharing the opportunity. So you get a pin of a senior manager. And there are other benefits, cash incentives, lifestyle invitation. You will be invited to five-star hotels to travel the world leadership school, you know, director folder, you know, and a world-class recognition. We come and recognize you, you can imagine. So this is the ladder up, right from distributor. I already said, when you join, you become a distributor. You get 250 points, you become a manager. You get other managers below you, you become a senior manager. You know, you can become an executive manager. You could be having other managers and senior managers below you. And when you get other people growing to senior manager and executive managers, you become a director. So this is where we empower one another, women. Can you see that? You are empowering other people. You are nurturing other people to grow like you. And it does not stop there. If you get one director in your team, you're called a Sapphire director. And as a Sapphire director, you earn from a thousand US dollars. That is a hundred thousand Kenya shillings. Can you imagine? On, and it could be on part-time basis. You continue doing what you are doing, but you are sharing the opportunity with many other people. Increase, get more directors, grow more people to be directors, and you get three directors, you become a Ruby director, you earn 200,000 plus, plus, plus. Can you imagine? You get six directors and you become a president team member, you earn half a million. And this money is per month. Why per month? Because our products are consumable, they have a, have a repeat sale. When people finish, they come back for more. And you know, you can start down there. We mentor you. You are always going to be mentored. You continue growing gradually until you become a president team member. And I'm so glad because when I joined this opportunity um, 12 years ago, I started as a distributor. I was able to grow gradually through mentorship until even in two years and 11 months, I became a president team member. I thank God 
within seven months, I was able to retire my job. I was able to grow my business. I was able to get the time freedom for my family and even the financial freedom to do all that I want because I have the money, I have grown a big business and I am growing and I'm actually building a legacy through this business. Now, when you reach the Sapphire level, you are called a world team member. When you are a world team member, you even start traveling the world. And this is so exciting. You know, you start get, getting incentives of uh, traveling to uh, world-class destinations to go and enjoy life. And this is what has been happening to me for the last 10 years, I mean 11 years, since I became a Sapphire director to date, I've been able to travel. Imagine ladies, and you know, we can root for each other and watch each other grow as women. We can grow together and we can make sure that we empower one another so that we can be able to reach the top. And I know this is possible. If you say yes to this opportunity and you, you actually, you are, we are going to help you to grow. So I'm really excited tonight because on this call, I'm not alone. We have so many directors. We have so many world team members. We have so many managers. We have so many senior managers and even distributors. But tonight, ladies, even if you never paid attention, I need you to pay attention from now because we have a guest speaker all the way calling in from the UK. And I'm so excited because this lady is also world-class in her own way. She's been able to do this business. She was able to grow and reach the highest levels in this business within a very short time when she was still very young. I normally say if I got to know about this business while I was young like her, I think I would be very, very far, yeah? So I'm super excited. I don't know whether we have uh, Janet on this call. If Janet, you can hear me, you can unmute yourself and take it away so that you can be able to give us your story. Yes, I am on the call. Wow, welcome Janet. I hope you can see me and hear me loud and clear. Yes, I can see you so beautiful over there. <laughs> Great. Uh, yes, thank you very much, Pierros, for such a wonderful presentation. And to all the people on the call, you are all very, very welcome. And I am happy to see all of you, especially those whose videos are on. And um, it is such a privilege and honor to be on this call. Uh, time check here is about 6.32, and I know it's 8.32 in Kenya. And... Um, of course, um, having an opportunity to meet um, such uh, ladies is, is, is a wonderful privilege for me because at this point in time, as a lady, you're probably with children, preparing dinner, um, you know, looking after your husband. Maybe some of us have just come in from work and it has been a hectic day, but seeing 115 ladies on this call is very, very humbling. And I would like to congratulate everybody on the call who has made it. So uh, for those who are seeing me for the very first time, uh, I'll introduce myself. My name is uh, Janet. And um, um, well, um, I love to say that uh, many people don't uh, usually forget me because I share a name with uh, two first ladies in East Africa, formerly three first ladies in East Africa. And of course, if you want to check whether I'm lying, uh, you need to check with the first lady of Uganda. She's called Janet. Then uh, we have the first lady of uh, Rwanda. She's also called Janet. And uh, the former first lady of Tanzania is called Janet. And I can see there's someone on the call called Janet and you know, the name just flashed up on my screen. So yes, uh, I'm called Janet Bugembe and um, I'm married. I am a mother of a 10 year old girl and uh, I'm a Ugandan and um, I'm a banker by profession. And I'll tell you why. I did banking and finance because I desired to work in the bank. The impression that had been given about bankers was, you know, they used to wake up, dress so smartly, hold those briefcases. They used to count money, hand out money, receive money. So that is the kind of life that I wanted. I wanted to go for a job 
where I woke up every single morning and money was around me. So I worked so hard and I told myself that, you know what, I need to go to school, get very good grades so that one day I could be employed by some of the biggest financial institutions in my country. And of course, I did not um, disappoint my parents. I worked so hard and I eventually ended up doing a bachelor's degree in commerce, majoring in banking and finance. But one thing that I did not know was all the money that many of you know the bank has handled, the money is actually not theirs. It is your money. It is you who takes the money to the bank. So uh, it was quite disappointing, but well, I was ready to pursue it because that is where my passion, you know, uh, 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 that is where my passion was. So um, 17 years ago, when I had just finished my high school here in Uganda, what happens is um, when you finish your high school, you go for a year, a holiday for one year. So during that one year, uh, you can be able to work on a job, you can be able to do a short course in the university officially in the month of August. So it was during that time, during my long vacation, when I was 19 years of age, just fresh out of high school, I was looking for something to do, something that I could do and make some little money, something that I could do so that I could be in position to use up my time more valuably, something where I could start up something and make sure that by the end of, at least I could be able to continue with it even when I was studying at the university. So that is when I was introduced to an opportunity. And I knew so many people who had been a part of this opportunity and it had worked for them. The only difference is they were doing it part-time and they were working on full-time jobs. So it didn't even ever cross my mind that this is something that I could do as a student. But what happened is when I was invited to go and attend a big meeting, I met one of the most successful, actually he was the most successful distributor in the world at that time and up to today. This gentleman, when he spoke that day, I feel like he spoke to me. And for whoever is on the call tonight, I do not know why you are on this call, but that day, I thank God, it was the 17th of July, 2005. That gentleman said two things that actually changed my life. That is why it's very, very important to be mindful of some of the people who speak into your lives or some of the meetings that you attend because someone can say something that can change your life. So this gentleman said that if you started this business today, you can build a business that can give you an extra 1 million Ugandan shillings. Now, 1 million Ugandan shillings um, is approximately maybe about 45,000 uh, Kenyan shillings. So at that time, I was 19 years of age, and I'm thinking, if I could start this opportunity and earn 1 million Ugandan shillings, wow, that would be fantastic. Then he went ahead to say that you can do this business part-time. And if you purpose to do it for the next two to three years, two to five years, you can be able to you know, uh, have an extra income that is more than what you would have from a full-time job. So that is why I decided to start in this opportunity. I was young, I was 19, and I did not exactly know where I was going to start from. But I told myself that, you know what, I've got to start somewhere. And for all the people who are on this call today, I want to tell you that if you're ever going to achieve any kind of success, you've got to start. You've got to start. You've got to start. Because if you don't start, you never ever know where this opportunity can take you. You never ever know. So I started. I started with faith. I didn't know what I was doing, but I will honestly tell you that there's something that I did different. 
everybody asks me, but Janet, how did you manage to build such a successful business? I attended training. I am a very, very good scholar and everything that I learn, I put into practice. So I attended training, every training that there was, everything that there was to learn. I made sure that I learned and put it into practice. When they say this is how they talk to people, I would go and practice. I would find some people to talk to. If they talked about a particular product, I would go and find someone to talk to. If they talked about demonstration in the home care, I would go and do that demonstration for whoever, to whoever cared to listen. So that is how I started learning how the products worked. I learned how the business worked. And I want to tell you, in my first month of business, I was able to make some profits. Surprisingly, I had never sold anything. I'm thinking to myself, so where do I start from? But because everything that I learned, I put it into practice. And I want to tell everyone on the call today, someone told me a few weeks ago that practice makes permanent. The moment you do something and you do it over and over again, you are going to become a very, very good person in that particular thing. And it's going to become permanent and it's going to become part of your life. So I started talking to people. I remember I got a customer and my first customer was my mother's friend. I did a demonstration of one of the products that we have called LDC and she ordered for a 25 liter jerry can. And that's how I made my first profits. I was so excited because I never ever knew that I could be able to make a sale. And of course, I continue talking to people and the way our business is structured, it is in such a way that by the end of every month, the company looks at the volume that you have been able to create, you know, in terms of sell and also together with the people that you are working with in your team. And they say, you know what, if it wasn't for you, we would not have generated this sale. So let's give you a percentage of what we have been able to make in terms of profit. So I'll tell you that at the end of my first month, um, I've been trying to calculate in Kenyan shillings, uh, um, but of course the exchange rate has changed over time. It's been 17 years, but I want to tell you that my first commission was about 782 Kenyan shillings. But you see, I was so excited because at the time I received that commission in form of a check. And I told you that I was going to study banking and finance. For me, this was very exciting because it became a reality. Now, I do not know about Kenya, but in Uganda, many of the people, as they earn salaries, they're given cash, you know. So this thing of earning in a check was a new thing. So it was rather exciting. And because I got a check, I had to pass by some of my friends and share with them and show them, you know what, this is what I've been able to earn from a business that I've started part time and look, and everybody who saw the money just instead laughed at me. They were like, but how can you work so hard to only earn this? But you see, the funny thing is, if you can be able to humble yourself and start small, God will grant you even bigger things. You see, many times we want to start from the clouds and we forget that you've got to start small. Those that start small, you know, if you are faithful with the little things, God will grant you bigger things. So that is how my journey started. In the trainings, they kept on talking about talk to people, talk to people, share this opportunity with people. In fact, in one of the trainings, they told us that whenever you look at somebody's forehead, it is written on their forehead, talk to me, talk to me, talk to me, and you just pass them by, talk to me. So I started talking to people. In my first month, I will tell you, I spoke to 182 people about the new life opportunity. Many of them were students like me, but at the end of the month, I got one person to start the business. But you see, it was worth it going through the 182 to get that one person, you know? 
So some of us sometimes, as you know, people who are starting out, we give up, we give up too soon. We give up too soon. You talk to one person, two people, 10 people, 20, and you give up. And then one of the things that I will tell you that has always motivated me is, in my mind, I'm thinking that what if it's the next person? What if it's the next person? So I keep going and going because if it is the next person, then you never ever know where your business can be able to explode to. So in my second month of business, I came from a commission of about 782 Kenyan shillings to a commission of 2,505 Kenyan shillings, which is an equivalent of 80,000 Ugandan shillings. Let me tell you, I was excited. I was happy. I had never earned such money in my life. In fact, I used to walk around with my check all the time. Eventually, I lost my check. I left it somewhere in a certain hotel at the reception in a book, and I did not find that check for six months. To, to cut my long story short, I continued doing this business four months down the road. I had built a business that came from 782 Kenyan shillings to about 27,996, approximately 28,000 Kenyan shillings. It was four months down the road and come from earning zero to close to 28,000 Kenyan shillings in four months. Now, if you're a mathematician like I am, and you do your mathematics very well, you will realize that many people start out in life, invest in education, go to school, go to, through secondary school up to university or tertiary institutions to finish school and they earn 10,000 Kenyan shillings, 10,000. It could even be five, it could even be none. Some people are jobless. Our streets in Kampala are full of jobless graduates after making such heavy investments. Here I was, I started a business and look at what it had been able to give me within a space of four months. And that is why I told us, everyone on the call, it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter where you come from. Start, start, do what you have to do because you can never know what God has in store for you. I remember at this point in time, I had become what they call a director. And so many things about me changed. I was at the university. I had started my uh, bachelor's degree and I was doing banking and finance. And I was doing this business part-time. But I'll tell you that I was a very extraordinary student because I never used to eat in the small bufunda. We call them bufunda in Uganda, like small little places where students eat very cheap food. I used to live a more comfortable life. I used to dress well while going to class. I was only 19 years of age. It was very, very exciting. I continued doing this business part-time and one and a half years down the road, I had built a business that was giving me an income of about 57,000 Kenyan shillings. I remember it was at that point in time where I bought my first car. I was 20 years of age and I was, you know, in my second year at the university. Continue doing this business. By the time I finished my three-year course, my course was three years. By the time I finished it, I had built a business that was giving me an income of close to about 220,000 Kenyan shillings. That is why I always tell people that never despise humble beginnings because that is where their success starts. So with 220,000 Kenyan shillings, I want to tell you that nobody would employ me at that point in time because if I was to go and work in the bank, starting out, I would have to work for close to 10 months to make the money that I was making in one month in the new life opportunity. So on the 21st of January, 2009, 
I dressed up so smartly in my graduation gown to go to Macquarie University to receive my award of having done a bachelor's degree majoring in banking and finance. And I will tell you what happened that day. The vice chancellor gave a speech and this is how he started. He said that today in Macquarie University, 11,000 students have graduated. As we speak right now, there are only 2,000 jobs available in the whole country. Makere is not the only university. We have 35 other universities in Uganda. Now, listening to that speech, I told myself, you know what? I do not have to fight with the crowd. I do not have to fight with the crowd. I made a sharp decision and I retired before I started working. And I am very, very excited because Hadn't it been for the near life opportunity, I would have never, ever had an opportunity to retire on my graduation day. So as I was graduating, I had a very big party. I decided that I am going to go into this business full time. I'm going to do it. I'm going to give it all my time because if I had done it part time and that's the success that I had achieved, what if I went full time? I will tell you what happened. I I had my uh, graduation on 21st January, 2009. By June, 2009, the same year, a few months down the road, five months down the road, my income had gone up to about 500,000. Now that I had gone full-time, 500,000. I was 22 years of age, by the way, and I was doing the business full-time, and I was excited. My business was growing. It was booming. Now that, you know, my customers were happy that I was more available to serve them. I wasn't running for a lecture. I wasn't handing in coursework. And I want to tell you that that is the time when I told myself that, you know what, this is what I was created to do. I want to tell you that one year down the road, after that, one year down the road, I had built a business that was giving me an income of about 1 million Kenyan shillings every single month. I was about 24 years of age, 24 years of age. Today, I'm glad to tell you that I am 36 years of age. I'll be turning 37 next year. So I want to tell you that one of the best decisions that I've made in my life is being is getting that application form and deciding to start the new life opportunity. It's been 17 years of hard work. It's been 17 years of purpose. It has been 17 years of effort. It has been 17 years of sharing this opportunity, sharing the products with whoever cares to listen. But I am glad when I look back at those 17 years, I am grateful to God for the steps that I took on the 17th of July, 2005. So what is it that I have benefited from the business? Oh, I could rather say, what is it that I would have missed hadn't I been a part of this opportunity? The first thing is financial freedom. I'm glad to say that today, I am very, very excited because I can do what I want, when I want, with who I want. And that comes with having some money, you know? And many people say that money is the root of all evil, but I want to say that money, lack of money is the root of all evil. Because when you don't have money, what are you going to do? You're going to steal. What are you going to do? You're going to kill. But if you have money, it's going to be different. So I have been able to make money out of this opportunity to the tune that um, I sat down and calculated from the time that I started up to 10 years, because I've been 17 years in the business. Um, I think we had made close to about 33 million, close to about, I think, 33 million Kenyan shillings in the first 10 years of our business. So does it surprise you that at the age of 26, I could drive an ML Mercedes Benz? Would it surprise you that at the age of 26, I could be able to travel all around the world 
I did not have any children. I did not have any dependents. I was just living life courtesy of the new life opportunity. So one of the things that I would wish for everybody on this call today is financial freedom, because it is something that I've been able to experience. It is a good place to be. The second benefit that I've got from this business is good health for my family and my friends. My mom was asthmatic. When she used the new life products, this is someone who used to wheeze every time and go to the hospital and be put on oxygen because of asthma. But ever since she started using the products, I want to tell you that inhalers, Ventolin are history. So even if I never got the money, I want to tell you that I'm happy to see my mom alive. And today she's, you know, turning 64 and she looks younger than she was 10 years ago. The other thing that I've been able to benefit from this opportunity is personal development. You know, today I've had an opportunity to come to the United Kingdom where I am um, currently because of my story. I managed to get a scholarship that is fully sponsored by the British government. We usually say that it's sponsored by the queen herself to come and study my master's program everything paid for, but it is because of my impact uh, on sharing this opportunity with the people back at home and making a positive difference in their lives, you know. The other thing I've benefited from this opportunity is knowledge. Today, I have become an expert in the subject matter. I've become an expert when it gets to health. I've become an expert when it gets to working with teams. I've become an expert when it gets to skills development because of the near life opportunity. And some of these skills are sought after by every company that you will find, you know, because they want to know whether you can be able to add value. I remember I got my first board appointment when I was 28 years of age. Why? Because somebody had heard my story and thought that I would bring a lot of value to their company at a board level. So today I'm doing my master's degree and I'm majoring in um, corporate governance and business ethics at University of London. And I'm currently in London and I, I look forward to going home because my course is ending in three months to start from where I stopped. But most importantly, when I came to London, I have had an opportunity to share my story with so many students from all around the world. London is like the United Nations. And in the next few years, I hope to have business in over 100 countries around the world. So it is not a loss from my side. It is an opportunity that New Life has presented, and I'm glad that I can take advantage of it. Then the final thing that I would like to share with you, something that is not usual, um, I believe it is something that everybody in Africa would love to be a part of. New Life is going to teach you how to make money, but most importantly, to enjoy it. When I joined this business, I had had an opportunity to travel, but it was by sheer luck. Uh, one time our teacher in secondary school walked up and said, who wants to travel to South Africa? And guess what? Everybody in the class thought that she was joking. I'm the only person who put up my hand. So that is how I traveled for my very first time on an aeroplane to represent my school on an exchange program in South Africa. I was 16 years of age. The next time that I traveled was because of the near life opportunity. Today I've traveled 65 times courtesy of the near life opportunity. And I look forward to traveling for my 66th trip in October to Spain, Barcelona. And it's just close by. So it will be very, very easy for me to fly there in just an hour. I will be there. So I just want to share with you some of the places that we have been to. I know we have a few minutes. You pardon me, but I feel I need to show you some of these places. And at this point, I would like to share my screen so that you can be in position to see. So, um, I hope all of you can see my screen. Can you see my screen? Yes. Great. Now, yes, I would just like, yes, 
oh, my first slide is about what is your reason? Why, why, why would you want to be a part of this opportunity? Is it because your sister asked you to be on this call tonight? I mean, you didn't have to, but why, why are you here? Now I'll share with you my why. I wanted to travel all over the world. I have a friend of mine who I studied with in primary school. He was coming from a very wealthy family. His father was a is his father is a businessman. And these guys, every single holiday, they used to take them to one of the top destinations around the world. I remember a few years ago, he told me that, you know what, Janet, one of the places that everybody needs to go to is the Ferrari world. So he sat me down and took me through the Ferrari world. I was almost thinking, oh my God, this is a place I need to go to before I die. So why do you want to be a part of this opportunity? Start with your why. I wanted to travel. I wanted financial and time freedom. Today, I could be able to take off time and come to a foreign country for a year. I don't have to ask my boss to give me a leave, you know, to a study leave and beg anybody. I just boarded the plane and came when I got the scholarship. That's the freedom that the, this uh, near life opportunity is going to give you. Financially, I have a choice how much money I want to make. Legacy, would you love to leave a legacy? Personal development in the uh, um in the uh, right hand corner, you can see at the bottom, I had an opportunity to meet Joel Austin in Texas, in Houston. We were coming from Cabo San Lucas in Mexico. So we passed by Houston in the United States and we went to Joel Austin. I actually met him in that photo. So would you like to have great family time? That is our family on the left hand corner. Would you like to have great health? Yeah. So I will tell you that that is exactly what we are talking about. And start with your why. Why? Why would you want? Now, I'd just like to show you some of the places that we've been to. 2008, I had an opportunity to visit London for the very first time. 2009, San Francisco in America. 2010, we had an opportunity to go to Hawaii. I remember we went to Sun City. We were staying at the Palace of the Lost City in Sun City, South Africa. Talk about Cabo San Lucas in Mexico. Talk about Dubai, Hong Kong, Sun City, Cape Town, Mauritius, Abu Dhabi, Rome, different places. That's us traveling all over the world. And you know, living the kind of life that God designed us to live. I would like to specifically talk about the leadership school at the Windsor Golf and Country Club. We are 113 on the call right now as I speak, and majority of us are in Kenya, better still in Nairobi. But I want to tell you that there are people on this call who have never been to the Windsor Golf and Country Club. And I will not lie to you, courtesy of this opportunity, I've been to the Windsor Golf and Country Club six times, six times. So if it wasn't for this opportunity, where would I have had a chance to go to the Windsor? The first time I went to the Windsor, I was there, there was a UN summit. And at that time, the Secretary General of the UN was Kofi Annan. I actually had breakfast with Kofi Annan at the Windsor Golf and Country Club. So this is where Neo Life has designed you to live. Of course, when you travel these places, you meet inspirational speakers, share lots of success stories, recognition, excitement, lots of fun. You know, we have fun, we have fun, we have fun. And that was Abu Dhabi, you know. And most importantly, how about going with your family, going with your team? When you look at the left-hand corner, you realize that in that photo, I am there with my husband, my mother, my father, my father-in-law, you know. And I mean, where would I have got an opportunity to travel with my entire family to have a good time? That was Rome, Italy. I had an opportunity to meet the Pope. Wow, courtesy of the Neo Life business. So what more really would I want? Look at that. 
doing all these crazy things. You see, you cannot start thinking of skydiving when you don't even have food at home. People are struggling to find shelter. Yeah. Is it the place called Githerai in Nairobi? I don't know whether I remember well, yes, but you see yes. all this. Yeah. You can't think of skydiving when you're not even, you're hungry, in other words. So all this has been possible. I love this particular photo. If you see the photo in the middle, the girl in the purple t-shirt is my daughter, you know, she's 10 years of age. And many times when we travel, we have opportunities to travel with her. And that was Dubai when we traveled. Lots of fun, you know, go traveling the world and enjoy. And this is where God designed us to live. So if you're here on this call today and you have been invited, I want to tell you, that you are in the right place, okay? Because Neo Life is an opportunity that has been put in store for you. It is an opportunity. It is a vehicle that is going to take you from where you are right now to where you want to be. And all you need to do is to embrace it. So if you're on this call, before you leave, before you sleep tonight, one, I would like you to thank the person who invited you because they cared enough to show you how you can be a part of this opportunity. And tell them, how can I start? How can I also start my journey? Because if it can work for Janet, surely it can work for you. If I started as a student and this is how far I have come and this is what I have achieved, what about you? You probably were in a better place than I was when I started. So I would like to wish you the very best, more than I even wish for myself. And I want to tell you that it is possible because if it can work for me, it can work for you. Thank you very much. God bless you and have a good night. Wow, wow, wow. Janet, that is so wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank you for such a wonderful uh, presentation, such a wonderful story. You're so eloquent. It's so great. We've really enjoyed your story. And what I can only assure you is that I'm very sure these women on this call, you're going to meet in the beaches of the world. And they will yeah. remind you that when you, when you told your story, they were able to join New Life. Because yeah. it is all doable. If Janet has done it, Tim, we can do it. We can only pay back by uh, starting tonight, as she has said. Let's start tonight, please get to the person who invited you, let them give you the pay bill number of the company. We have a pay bill number you can pay right away. Send back the message on, mm -hmm. from M-Pesa and you are going to be registered. They can also share with you the, the website and you can be able to join in. So God bless you so much. Thank you, Janet. Have a nice day in the United Kingdom. I know we are going to meet very soon in Barcelona and many other places and yeah. see you in the beaches of the world. God bless you, everyone, and have a good night. Good night.